monitor that I soldered on, and that means that I'll be able to connect with the console cable. So I'll show you another way of connecting to your Pi. Oh, you know, on the, um, uh, you can use links and go to retro.hackaday.com and it probably displays okay. Oh yeah, let's yeah. do that. So uh, is it retro? Retro.hackaday.com and I believe it displays nicely. I wonder if I have to do Thank you, Brian Bentoff and the cat. Huh? Thank you, Brian Bentoff and the cat. Thank you. Wow, look. Fancy. This is actually one of the best things you can do with the Raspberry Pi Zero. By the way, like this was not planned. I, I was just like, I was just like, hey, like what can I do? Um, but this actually is kind of fun. And look, you can look up blue boxes and stuff. Um, okay, so sweet. This is this is quite nice. Nice work. I like the purple, in the corner, and the Hackaday logo, optimized for embedded devices. So perfect. So you can you can make a portable Raspberry Pi viewer. So I'm going to. Um, shut down um, one thing to remember this is the trade-off of of linux uh, with great uh, linux comes a uh, great file system inconsistency risk so you do have to shut down cleanly um, which means actually running a sudo shutdown command um, you don't have to uh, you can get away with not but uh, you risk uh, causing problems to your sd card if it wasn't f-synced Sorry.